Hi, it's Dana Marchewski. It's January the 27th, 2010. I'm going to continue on from where I left off on the 26th video. So hopefully uh, we're going to get this taped and I won't have any interruptions. I can hear something starting to meow on the side of me. Okay. Um, take a look at, there's a book called uh, All Things Common. It is dated on the 22nd of Canada Street News. Um, no, just above the 22nd just right under where Ken, Kevin Annett's work is. And um, it's uh, the communal way of tribal life that Jesus taught. Now, when I see the name Jesus, you know that Paul nicknamed Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. So it's got a bit of a new agey uh, kick to it. Just chew the hay, spit out the straw, and uh, get what you can from it. It's all about uh, having storehouses where you come into small communities. Remember, um, we're going to be scattered in the wilderness. The big cities are going to be depopulated because that's the target for the Illuminati. So it's all set up for, you know, slave trade by the Illuminati anyway. But uh, it's about storehouses and uh, how when people come into town, they fill up a storage house. And it's it's about sharing and uh, it's for the good of all. So that's uh, basically what I got from that book. Uh, there is some new links on... Um, what about our first people on CanadaStreetNews.com as well? Uh, they are for the indigenous um, areas that are in Canada, as well as a little bit in Michigan, because that's where uh, I need to you know, kind of spread out from. Hopefully in the states, uh, people that are watching me can uh, get their communities organized and go back to the ways of Mother Earth. And the indigenous here would be the Native American way. The indigenous in Europe would be whatever started out there, such as the Celts in Ireland and, uh, you know, the, um, in, everybody's had their own indigenous way of life, so I've got to go back to those ways. So that's a book I need you to look at, as well as I'm going to be talking about a bit about Sherry Schreiner. Now, if you look at uh, Robert Morningsky, and he is, uh, he's posted, he talks about uh, for women only, thegoddess.com. Now, a little bit of uh, we got some heat from some guys. I didn't make up that title, and he's not bashing men. He is uh, bringing in the divine feminine because the Bible codes that are in the Bible, the priests took the Bible codes of the goddess. Remember, this was uh, Eden was based on the mother goddess tradition before uh, the priests, the Raman, came in and uh, slaughtered all the, uh, uh, what they call them witches, but I call them healers. Uh, he, they, call, they slaughtered all the women. They took the codes and they, in, they put them into the Bible. So, and they've been using that kind of energy, the real Kabbalah. Uh, they've, they've twisted everything around to make dark black magic instead of uh, the ways of Mother Earth. So in, instead of going with the ways of the Earth, they go against it and it causes a lot of havoc. So that would be January the 14th. I posted him up in his work. His work is very good. A man of integrity. He is a diamond, and he's being suppressed. So, do look at it as at his stuff first. Spend some time looking at the folder that I put in uh, important downloads. Robert Morning Sky. I will continue to add to it as soon as I can find his stuff on the web. But as I said, he's been gagged since 1996. So, I am going to do my digging and try to get those videos up. But uh, if you can't, please download his stuff using the Real Player software that I've provided for January the 26th that you can go and grab any video that you can, okay? Spread the word that our RCMP are, um, are, are committing crimes against humanity and people that are suppressing crimes against humanity need to say something or they will be guilty as well of uh, suppressing these crimes and supporting them because apathy is, is what's causing the problems, keeping the stuff going, so out with it. And a bit about Sherry Schreiner. Now remember, she uses, she, uh, she deciphers Bible codes and the Most High God I don't know what she, I think she's getting something, but uh, Peggy King would say that she's a bit uh, mind controlled. I love her. She's d done a huge benefit for me, uh, but the Bible codes that are in the Bible are of the goddess. And uh, Robert Morning Sky, for women only, uh, thegoddess.com. He goes into detail about language and translation and changes too, and how the men um, took that energy. And uh, all this time they've been using that. So my computer's not working, but I'm going to go by memory because I will post those videos of what Sherry Schreiner has to talk about. She talks about um, how the fifth dimension isn't going to manifest into the new world order. The Bible codes are changing. The um, 
last video she just did on the 25th was talking about what is uh, Babylon. Babylon is America, and she goes into Isaiah quotes from the book of Isaiah and actually explains where, um, uh, where, where Babylon is. It's not uh, Rome. It is uh, America. So Babylon will fall. So uh, be careful for those people that are thinking that, uh, you know, Benny Hinn and John Hagee and all those other uh, pompous uh, uh, peacocks on TV, if you think that they're going to save you, they're going to end you, they're going to take you into a FEMA camp or rapture you onto some uh, base on the moon or Mars. So be careful because uh, they are Jesuits controlled pawns and uh, they've been bought out, sold out, and they are deceiving you. Okay. Look at Bill Snowballin. Snowballin, he's got a really good story. Uh, some of my links on holyhealthy.com, great downloads. We've got some of his stuff on there that you can directly take off the web. Okay, so I've been working very hard to expose this stuff for you, so I'm pretty sure, you know, I've got a good grasp on who's, who's you know, shoveling crap and who's, you know, really, you know, wants humanity to be safe. So, um, so she also talks about uh, zombies. Um, well, I would imagine that a lot of the underground bases, they've been doing the hybridization and uh, soul scalping, vaccines, HDTV, cell phones, or mind control and, uh, manifestations. Remember the 3D TV, uh, Maitreya is coming in, and he's going to appear on ABC. Apparently, Benjamin Cream has said that uh, he's already appeared on TV. Well, I haven't seen him. You know, there's a lot of distraction on TV, but I have not seen this Maitreya, Betreya, Antichrist another guy that Obama, you know, will bring in. Obama is a false prophet. He's supposed to be a Kenaton, one of the pharaohs, pharaohs of Marduk Ra, uh, Rockefeller. And so uh, there's your deception there. So if someone's promoting him, you know that uh, he, they're working for the dark side. Okay, I'm going to tell you right out, it's the dark side. So they will uh, take you down a path of hell if you're, if you're not careful. She talks about zombies, she talks about wormwood, um, which will make everything poisonous, a bit of prophet, prophecy, talks about a comet. Remember these hollowed out space, uh, planets are, um, are actually spaceships that uh, ETs travel out in. So anything falling into Lake uh, Michigan, which uh, she was saying that uh, uh, she had a vision of having 100 um, mile um, waves that would wipe out all the small cities, that would depopulate a, a good chunk of American cities. So be careful of that. Also prophecy on the Pacific coast, if a comet or something falls into that area, uh, it's also going to wipe out that coast. She sees fire in New York and also Oregon uh, area, which is a safe area, which is north of New York. You should be doing your own communities, you should do be doing your, you know, your cottage areas, which are going to be safer because there's less people, less meat for the reptilian dracos and the giants that are going to appear and, uh, you know, clean up anybody who's not uh, up on this stuff. Um, they should be safe areas, so you should have those areas Oregon. You need to have your water protected. Oregonmasters.info are one of my links on Canada Street News. I teach you how to do it and make it strong. And uh, my weather in Sault Ste. Marie, where I'm at right now, is uh, totally normal. And uh, it's been protected because I have a 60-mile radius of Oregon that I've been focusing on. And that it costs a lot of time and energy. So as soon as you can do it, start from your area and radiate out to have your area protected so that you know it's safe from these, these um, hybrid uh, zombies or whatever that are coming in. So that's your protection. And um, Wormwood is going to supposed to be poisoning everything. And also uh, she sees um, the sky lighting up at night. So... Uh, different things she talks about. She's saying that they're not going to make it into their uh, new world order agenda. The gig is up. We've we've used our mouths and our and our brains and our intent to uh, expose this stuff. So I don't know. Um, our, I mean, this uh, Nisara thing is supposed to have been happening since since I remember 2005 when I became Ontario coordinator for First Contact, and they almost killed me when I exposed them for being reptilian shapeshifters. So uh, I guess I needed to learn the hard way. To do that, to expose this, but. Uh, so